So another exciting edition of the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast. I am your MC Dave Vogue. With me today, we have Kells. What's going on, everybody? We have Andy. Hey, uh, uh, Kells, I just got off the phone with the Make-A-Wish people. It turns out... Don't like where this is going at all. Davo is uh, not mm. dying. Uh, what? We can We can actually win matches now. Uh, there was just a huge screw up with the Make a Wish people. Um, it it turns out Dave was just I naturally tasty like that. Um, That's what he's just like the last three. <laughs> it's been still, a minute. Talking about. <laughs> still, still smarting over it. Apparently, uh, staying. Yeah, we, we can start. We can start playing for real now, Kels. Okay, I've lost the last three. Well, we had to make it look realistic. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have the sensei, Neil. Hello, Neil. Hey, everybody. You guys mm-hmm. want to just jump right into it and play some trivia? Would love to. Hey, why not? Well, so let me tell you what the rules are. Each week, we have a theme. And within that theme, we've got six categories of four questions each. Each question is worth 10 points with a few bonus points thrown in here and there. And then a final question, which is worth up to 100 points. And I have something a little bit special for the final Ooh. question tonight. Ooh. But we'll get to that when we All get right. to it. Tonight's theme is quotes. I don't know. Uh, so I didn't I actually write any questions. I just have a bunch of quotes. <laughs> and quotes. depending on the category, you're going to tell me basically where the quote came from. Oh, boy. I just got a quote an hour and a half ago to redo our kitchen. This is not, not really the same kind of quote. <laughs> oh. All right. Category one is science. Oh, science, so, science quote. Science quote. Come on, now That's bear fair. with me. It's it's going to work. So I just need sure. you to name the person who said it, mm-hmm. and I'll give you for each of them. I'll give you their century that they that they were uh, most active and their uh, their field of study. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm yawning already. Yeah, I was okay. <laughs> Question one. Within a hundred years. <laughs> if you don't get three of these, Andy, I'll be very, I'll be very surprised. All right. Oh, okay. Question one. When on board HMS Beagle as a naturalist, I was much struck with certain facts of the distribution of the inhabitants of South America and in the geological relations of the present to the past inhabitants of that continent. It's a 19th century biologist. <laughs> I'm locked in. I know who he is, and I'm just drawing a, 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 a blank. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I hate wow. that. Hold on, hold on. Got it. <sighs> Kels? Darwin. Devo? Darwin. And Andy? Darwin. Of course it's Darwin. So it's, I'm easing you into it. I see That's, that. I, I almost panicked. Me too. <laughs> Question two. The last chapter discussed why we see time go forward why disorder increases and why we remember the past, but not the future. That is a 20th century astrophysicist. Locked in? Locked in. Oh, I am. My brains is going slowly. A brief history of time. I, he's in a wheelchair. Uh, he's appeared on the next generation. Uh, uh, oh. Um, uh, you you confusing his characters, Andy. That was just um, Patrick Stewart. No, <laughs> stop it. Oh, he was Professor uh, uh, Xavier. <laughs> Almost had it. Else. You start talking. <laughs> Hawk got it locked in. <laughs> oh, my brain is not working. <laughs> <laughs> you need some more gravy. Seriously, up oh, in there. No, wait, that, that's the okay. problem. Oh, I should oh, have some yeah. coffee. Devo, uh, Hawking, Andy. Hawking. And Kells. Hawking. From A Brief History of Time, it is Stephen Hawking. Well, Andy said that. I could remember everything but his name. (laughs) Yes, every single thing. Shoe size nine and a half. (laughs) I'm not making excuses, but yesterday I was on campus for 16 and a half hours straight. And today Hmm. I had two meetings. Each meeting was three and a half hours in length. Oh, my brain you know, is Devo, just... Does that sound like an excuse to you? Yep, it is. 
Sounds like I'm an just, excuse. Okay. No, no, I'm going to win. I'm just saying I'm. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm playing with, put, I am. I'm going to win, put, and I'm playing with one arm tied behind my back. That's what I'm saying tonight. All right. Oh, somebody's pulling their huggies up high. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm a big kid now. <laughs> All right. Question three. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. I should say that it's for a lot of quotes, they get misattributed. I tried really hard to confirm that uh, these quotes are all said by the same, the, the correct person. Anyway, that was a 18th century mathematician. Locked in. I'm guessing because I can only think of one. I think I know who Andy put, and I kind of want to put the same thing. I always thought Scotty Pippen said it. <laughs> he did stand on the shoulders of giants. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> you really did. I, all right. Uh, I have an answer. I'm locked in. Okay. Let's start with Andy. Isaac Newton. Kels? Euclid. And Devo. Isaac Newton. Known to his friends as Fig, it was Isaac Newton. (laughs) (laughs) Question four. There may be babblers wholly ignorant of mathematics who dare to condemn my hypothesis upon the authority of some part of the Bible twisted to suit their purpose. I value them not and scorn their unfounded judgment. That is a 16th century Polish astronomer. (gasps) Polish. I have there's... (laughs) I'm locked in. I don't think they're from there, but I'm I'm gonna go with this person. I'm locked in. I'm locked in too. I'm just gonna try to make Dave O proud at this point. Yeah. Oh, then I think you and I <laughs> are on the same page. <laughs> Kels, what's your answer? Tycho Brahe. <laughs> <laughs> Dave O. I started writing Tycho Brahe, then I <laughs> erased it. Because I couldn't just put something that ridiculous. So then I wrote Copernicus, and then I locked in, and then I realized that's pretty ridiculous, too. So I just went with Copernicus. Okay. And Andy? Inventor of the slot car track, Tycho Brahe. (laughs) The correct answer is Nicholas Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus. (laughs) Yay! At the end of round one, Kells has 20. As I predicted, Andy has 30, and Davo got 40. He knows you so well, Andy. Uh, yeah, he does. I even I even figured out which one he wasn't going to get. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, good call. Those are all your moves. <laughs> <laughs> Category two is literary first lines. So I'm just going to give you Ooh. the first line of a novel, <laughs> and you tell me the name of the novel. Mm. I'm hoping you use the one that I got. Just I think yeah, everybody I, I got one and loaded in the but I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I would be surprised if you are thinking of any of these. Oh man! Oh no! Quote number one. <laughs> <laughs> Quote number one. We were somewhere around Barstow on the edge of the desert when the drugs began to take hold. Oh, I think I got this one locked in. Oh. It's going to take a while to write. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm locked in. I, oh, you guys are locked in? Yeah, Mm -hmm. talk it up. This is Hunter S. Thompson, and it's about going to Vegas. And it's, I cannot think of this at all. Oh, man. Oh, boy, you were were having fun with me earlier. (laughs) He's driving somewhere, and I thought it was Vegas. I think you're confusing it with something else. I could be. Uh, I can't even. uh, Well, now I'm really fascinated what Kells wrote down. (laughs) Andy, you're probably wrong, too. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I am. I have the book. We'll soon find out. It's it's, it's not Hunter S. Thompson, then. Hmm. But I heard Johnny Depp in my head say that when Neil said that. I. Is it the Bible? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna write something down because I'm totally gone here. All right, locked in. Okay, Dave, what you got? Well, it's Hunter S. Thompson, I'm sure, and he's going to Vegas, so I put Viva Las Vegas because I cannot <laughs> think of it at all. 
Andy? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas uh, by Hunter S. Thompson. And Kells. Andy, I was just messing with Dave. It's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> I was trying to throw him off the scent. I I th- I I got to fear Las Vegas. I did my brain went couple. <laughs> it is fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> Dang it! Quotation two. It was a bright, cold day in April, and the clocks were striking thirteen. Locked in. Mm. Mm. Locked in. That sounds vaguely familiar. I've read this book. It's a sci-fi book. Barbarella. <laughs> <laughs> the great American novel. Uh, I'm locked in. I'm wrong, but I can't imagine. Okay. Dave, what do you got? 1984. Huh. Oh, God. Shot in the dark. Let's get it. <laughs> did you both? No, my uh, answer, yeah. so. I did. If, the, if you're right, then well, I'm right. What did you get, Andy? 2001. I, I love the fact that it's another date. I went with it's 2001. It's another date. That's a 17 year. Um, go back for enough. <laughs> Kels, you want to split the difference and go with like 1994 or something? <laughs> 1999 by Prince. Prince. I'm going with 1984. Well, I'm glad you did, Kels, because that is the correct answer. Oh. George Orwell's <laughs> classic. I, I was on the, the scent of it. I just couldn't come up with it. I, I was hoping someone would might try uh, Brave New World, but you didn't. Didn't bite, man. Oddly, my first thought was Alice in Wonderland. But that starts with her on the bank of a river. Right. Quotation number three. As Gregor Samsa awoke one morning from uneasy dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a gigantic insect. Locked in? Locked in. I'm locked in. This is this is too on the nose, but I'm locked in. Okay, let's start with Kells. It's the metamorphosis. Devo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> metamorphosis. <laughs> and Andy. The fly. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was wrong. I just couldn't come up with it. I've never read the metamorphosis. Uh, well, the correct answer is Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. And quote number four, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Locked in. Uh, locked, in. locked in. I don't know why I know this, but I do. David? Is this Pride and Prejudice? Andy? Pride and Prejudice. What? I said the good earth. It is Pride and Prejudice by James. Yeah, Mr. Darcy. Never read it. I've seen it in three different adaptations. (laughs) Never saw it. There's about 17 different adaptations out there if you want to. I've seen the best three. I'm not going to venture farther out. All right. So at the end of round two, Kels and Andy both have 50. Davo has 70. Woo. (sighs) So I was trying to find sports quotes. But apart from Muhammad Ali, pretty much all the quotes are like inspirational things that don't really give you a clue as to who they are. So I decided that I'm going to combine sports and movies. Mm. So I need to know the name of the character that Ugh. says the lines. Oh, okay. Character. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Right. Okay. Remember, I need the name of the character. Quote one, I must break you. Locked in. Locked in. And the great Andy star struggle continues. He's going to win this one. <laughs> the study. The study. <laughs> <getting stuck. laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Got to get the crank. Got to get the crank out. Yeah, the crank. I'm trying to remember which one. If this is. <laughs> It's like the car from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I'm, locked, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I think I got this right. It's got to be. It's got to be right. Okay. Share it with us, Andy. Rocky Two. 
<laughs> character, Andy. Okay, character. The character who oh, says the character. It. Yeah, oh, the character uh, who says it's, it, Andy. Uh, what, the, the Russian. I, I, uh, Kels. Oh, my gosh. You, you should lose points for getting the Russian in the wrong movie. Ivan Drago. Yes. Devo. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Rocky 2? That's Rocky That's four. 4. Drago. <sighs> and it was wrong anyway because I said a number of times that I needed the character. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it wrong like, it was the wrong <laughs> squared. Wrong cubed. <laughs> I'm so going to lose tonight. <laughs> All right. Question two. This one has an easy mode if you need it for half points. But let's start with Help me help you. I know this. I'm locked in. Locked in. Um, help me. Oh, um, all right. I'm <laughs> locked in. The easy mode was show me the show money. Show me the money. Uh, Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kel. Jerry Maguire. Davis. Jerry Maguire. And Andy. Jerry Maguire. It is Jerry Maguire. For the longest time, all I could think of was Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise said it, obviously. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise saying it. I still haven't seen that movie. I, you know, I was just about to I have ask either. the room. Okay, I want to ask the room my question. <laughs> what was this question? Does anybody else think that movie's trash? <laughs> it never appealed to me. It's a rom-com. It's, I mean. But there's, it's not really commie or rom I heard this. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little rummy. It's a little rummy. You but complete less me. I mean, come on. It's a, it's, it's just a bad movie. Real, I've heard bad. that the better story would have been about Cuba Gooden Jr.'s character. Yeah, like he should have been like the focus. Like they had like more drama going on. They did. They actually had things happening in their life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this next question, I'm going to give you part of a. Uh, soliloquy basically okay it has an easy mode where i'll I'll give you the second half of it but it has a five point bonus if you can tell me the last two words of the soliloquy all right does that make sense okay Mm -hmm. so the question is i know i'm no olivier but if he fought sugar ray he would say that the thing ain't the ring it's the play easy mode (laughs) yeah uh yeah i'm gonna need the easy mode too Okay. Okay. So everybody wants the easy mode. The bonus yeah. is still in play. If you can tell me the last two words of the soliloquy. So the easy mode is give me a stage where this bull can rage. And though I could fight, I'd much rather recite. <laughs> if the glove doesn't fit, you have to look. I know. I know. I know the character now. Well, that's all that is required. Yeah. That's what. Well, I was trying to get the bonus too. I, oh, extra credit! I, don't, you. I am yeah. so. You know, know what? This. In the sports category, I am bringing out Ray Guy. Look at Andy. Punt. I'm going to save my punt for later. I'm, but I have written out an answer. Locked in. Is is there more? <laughs> and I believe I have the bonus. That was a Christopher Walken pause. <laughs> locked in. So, so everybody's locked in. This is yeah. the uh, Oscar winning performance. Mm-hmm. By the 1980. Way. Yep. Well, fiddle faddle. So let's let's start with Devo. I, shoot. I said Creed. Okay. Because I need to write down something and I'm saving my <laughs> now, now I think it's Raging <laughs> Bull maybe. And Andy punt. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. <laughs> Kick is away. There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. <laughs> and Kels. Andy, what was the boxer's name at Raging Bull? I don't remember. I know. Why did you just ask Andy? I'm hurt. Because um, he, he had the movie right, but I, it's, it's character. Could have, though, right? I could have been a contender. No, 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 that's from one. No, Jake no that's from one. The Jay, waterfront. I knew the, uh, it yeah. <laughs> so I'm playing <sorry>. too. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Jake Lamada. Yeah, I think the, last, there it is. the last line is repeated. It's that's entertainment. It is Jake Lamada in Raging Bull, and the last line after, after he says, "And though I could fight, I'd much rather recite." That's entertainment. That's after he's washed up and is a nightclub owner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I think this last one is going to be an easy one for you. But again, I need the name of the character. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that. Fuck, <laughs> Dane. I don't know the name of this character. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Seriously. I don't have a clue. I know what's going on. I know what movie it is and everything, but I don't know the character's name. I know both characters um, involved. <laughs> I know one of them is named Johnny. It's the one that's saying, hey, sweep the leg. But I'm not. <laughs> hey, speaking of sweep the leg, Ray Guy. There you go. <laughs> hey, Bo. No, not you. Oh, this is embarrassing. No one watches Cobra Kai. I do not watch Cobra Kai. It's a really good yeah. show. Right. I, there are 10,000 right good now, shows friend of the right show now. and and, and feature player Allison is uh, screaming at her car stereo as she's driving to work because <laughs> she knows <laughs> <laughs> they need to watch more trash TV. It's, it's not trash, it's very entertaining. It's way better than any of the movies. It's not saying anything. Yeah, I said it here first. <laughs> wow. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling back. I'm locked in. Okay, let's start with Andy. Snidely Whiplash. Yeah. And Kels? John Kreese. And Devo. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. Kick is away. There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. Correct answer is John Kreese. <sighs> to Johnny Lawrence. But they were really working those names pretty well, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a very popular name still to It me. is incredibly popular. <laughs> All right. At the end of round three, Andy has 60. Devo and Kells are tied with 90, which brings us to television. And again, oh I'm going to give you a quote from a popular TV show, and you have to tell me the name of the character. Oh. Okay. The character. I got gotcha. you. Rocky I want, Two. I don't want the name of the show. <laughs> I don't want the name of the actor. I want the name of the character the actor plays. Okay. Quotation number one. Spike, this basement is killing you. This is the hell mouth. Uh, locked in? I'm locked in. All right. The only Spike that's coming to mind, I'm pretty sure it's not in this show, but... um. <laughs> I'm going to go with him, maybe a yeah, flashback. All right. I'm locked in. Okay. What do you got, Kels? Lou Pickles from the Rugrats <laughs> to their dog, Spike. <laughs> that makes a dark Sunday morning. <laughs> Andy? Totally flashback, man. He's old. The only show I can think of that a basement plays a, a key role in is that 70s show. So I'm just going to go with Foreman. Okay. And Devo. Buffy. Oh. From Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There it this is. This was said by Buffy. Buffy yeah. Devo. Well played. Thank you. I never watched that show. I saw the movie several times. Well, this movie's I great. haven't seen either or. Quote two. I was just telling Wallace how pleasant it would be for Theodore to accompany us to the movies. Locked in. You know, Andy, I think this is something that's fallen out of my brain. Hmm. Because I know what this is. Yeah. I can you know see the show. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can see the guy saying it. I've used this term to rock as an insult to friends. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, I got it. I got there it. There you go. Loot. It's about it how he says floor. it. All right. I'm locked in. Andy? I'm so proud of myself for the way I came up with this because I do not remember this in the show. I didn't really even watch the show a lot, but Wallace and Theodore have to be from Leave it to Beaver, and the only person that would use that kind of formal language was Eddie Haskell. That's exactly the logic I was expecting people to use to get to this. <laughs> Deva? Eddie Haskell. And Kels. Alvin, talking about his brother. Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> It is Eddie Haskell. You know, there are some really good, uh, really funny quotes from that show. Yeah. And I wonder this, I wanted to use this one, but I thought it might be too obscure. So I'm just going to throw it out there and see if you guys could get it. Have to keep a firm hand on the boys nowadays, Ward. 
My clearance answered me back the other day. I smacked him right in the mouth. None of this psychology for me. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. From the show? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. So do you do you know who that would? No. So that was um Fred Rutherford. The neighbor? Yeah, Clarence was um Lumpy. Yes. Oh, yeah, so it was Lumpy's Ward because it was Ward Cleaver. Ward Cleaver, yeah. But- yeah. Wow. Things get out of line. I'll just smack the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, Sensei's way of keeping the peace around here. Well, you know. The Sensei uses subtle cutting mental trickery and painful, painful criticisms. Yeah. Never fi- never physical violence. Right. Words so hurt. You well, can't I mean, see you guys stars. are like 50 miles away from me. So. That is true. We are not on the Until compound. the picnic. I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to restrain myself. All right. Quote three. Bazinga. Locked in. The first one I've known. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. I hate this guy. Yeah, you do. Hate this show. Yeah, you do. Locked in. I figured you'd get it like right off the no, I for that it out fact. my mind. Oh man. Okay, there's there's Leonard. He's at the ten. And Leonard. Oh <laughs> yeah, fumble fumble ball. Ball. I fumbled fumble the ball. The ball. <laughs> yeah. There's little Oliver. Yep. And um <laughs> Scrappy. Scrappy. <laughs> and Ah, that rock. I got it. <laughs> okay, Devo. Sheldon. Uh Kels. Sheldon Cooper. And Andy. Sheldon. Yeah, Sheldon Cooper from that show. What show is that? Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory, yeah. I was gonna say I was starting to say three third rock from the sun, but that's not. <laughs> well that show is actually witty. <laughs> and finally in television quotes. I like Tom. He doesn't do a lot of work around here. He shows zero initiative. He's not a team player. He's never wanted to go that extra mile. Tom is exactly what I'm looking for in a government employee. Locked in. Uh, oh, locked in. <laughs> Took a second. I know the show, and I'm trying to think of this character's name. It's there were so be... many quotes I could have picked for this character. Yeah. His I pyramid t- of manliness is out there. Locked in. I typed in your symptoms <laughs> to the computer. It says you have internet connectivity. <laughs> <laughs> Kels? Ron Swanson. Andy? Ron Swanson. And David. Ron Swanson. It is Ron Swanson. Ron <laughs> Swanson from Parks and Recreation. Rash, rash, rash. Something like that. All right, at the end of round four, Andy has 90, Kells 110, Dela 130. Yay! Okay, uh, Andy, this is your comeback. This is no. history. Boom! Uh, I'm going to give you a <laughs> sentence from a historical document. Oh, man. Uh, we goodness. call those primary sources. And you have to tell me which document it is. Okay. Quote number one. The history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggles. What? Locked in. Is a historical document? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. what are you thinking? I'll write whatever you're writing. Well, when you said that, I was I was thinking about Galaxy Quest. <laughs> the historical <laughs> films. <laughs> you are our last hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my brother Pete can do that voice so good. It's oh, I got to hear that, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to come up with an answer, huh? Uh, yeah, you do. Just write your brother Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what would Pete say? Uh, Is Pete as smart as you are? He's a, he's a, he's a pretty wise guy. Oh, he's a wise, oh, he's a wise guy. guy. I see. He's a wise guy. That makes a yeah. lot of sense now. Yeah. Yep. He's, he's in the, go the papers. Get the papers. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's so sketchy. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> I'm a point. Woo! Forget it. I'm a point. Right. I can't think of anything. All right. Let's start. It's because with you're a Andy. good American boy. It's the Communist Manifesto. David? 
Communist Manifesto. And Kells. Now Ray Guy comes in for his <laughs> first punt of the day. Pitches <laughs> away. There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. There's Ray Guy kicking the hell out of communism on ABC <laughs> television. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I think the other ones are going to be a little bit easier. Hmm. So you say. Quote two, that the English church shall be free and enjoy her rights in their integrity and her liberties untouched. Locked in. Uh, no, that can't be. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, why not? I don't know. Eh, fair enough. You talked uh, me into it, Damo. <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it makes no sense, but I'm, I'm rolling with sure. it. Sure. Okay, Locked in. You, me? Yeah. <laughs> you. Davo. Okay. MC uh, Davo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said the Magna Carta. <laughs> okay. Kels? Magna Carta. And Yay! Andy. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is Magna Carta that started it all, isn't it? <laughs> it I don't is. know where the queen is from. <laughs> Dirty pilgrims. Monty Python's flag circus. <laughs> it's like a Muppet, almost. It was. It was you can see it as a Muppet. The English church isn't for them to give away, isn't it? It's mine. It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> Well, the correct answer oh, so I'll is. I'll be taking the, the colonies back any day now. <laughs> Magna Carta. Magna <laughs> Carta. And then uh, question three: A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. Locked in. There is a an prince. easy mode for half points if you need it. Oh come on! There should not be an easy mode for this. Hey 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 hey! Elitist. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm going to give them an AC mode. When I hear this, mm-hmm. um, I hear it being spoken by Laura Linney. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Linney? That's, that's a breezy mode at best. That was a super breezy <laughs> mode. I'll take the actual easy mode. <laughs> Laura Linney. Laura Linney? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, now I think I know who it is. I was giving you garbage, man. I'm sorry. I gave you a real <laughs> easy mode. You did. But I'm going to take the Neil easy mode just in case. I need to catch up. I'm going I'm to go out on the limb. I'm locked in. Okay. So for Devo, uh, Andy, part of my idea about the easy mode is to just make people feel foolish. Mm. Okay. So the easy oh, mode good. is... We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> yes. Okay. Locked in. Kels? Declaration of Independence. Andy? Our Declaration of Independence. And Devo? Declaration of Independence. I am a fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not a tyrant, so. That's right. right. That is correct. Declaration of Independence. And finally, the original members of the League of Nations shall be those of the signatories which are named in the annex to this covenant. Locked in, I guess. Locked in, I guess. No, I'm locked in with something. Okay, let's start with uh, Andy. It's the covenant of the League of Nations. Deva? It's in the UN Charter. Uh, Okay. There's Kels? something I just thought of. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> just put something on the paper. No, oh actually, God. I am really confused because it's. I, I, I think it could also be called the Charter of the League of Nations, but I think its official title is the Covenant of League of Nations, but he just said that. So is the answer in? I'm all befuddled. Well, let's let Kel's answer, and then I can tell you what the right answer is. I was thinking the same thing as Davo, except I said UN Doctrine. Okay. Um. When and how you sweep is a mm. vital part of curling. So, I mean, the obvious answer is the League of Nations wouldn't be created by the UN creation because that came afterwards, right? Oh, but the League of Nation was League of Nations was created by the Treaty of Versailles, right? Oh yeah, I was. Uh, mm. I just jumped on it. Yeah. 
There it I is. I would have got it wrong because I was thinking Treaty of Paris. But that was the end of um it was the end of World War One, wasn't it? And and one of my favorite trivia nuggets. Mm-hmm. Mm. What country refused to ratify the Treaty of Versailles? Wasn't that a South American country or Central America? One country in the U.S. never. <laughs> what are you guys going with? Lock in. I'll go with Venezuela. Germany. I'm going to go with Germany. I say us as a twist. Kells is right. It's the United States. <laughs> Congress refused to ratify it because they did not want uh, to give up. They said that this gave the League of Nations, the ability to wage war. And that was the job of Congress. Mm. Oh. All right. Well, that's with a lovely trivia nugget. I didn't know that. Hardy trivia nugget. Hardy oh, trivia. A good pearl onion there for you folks at home. Now, the stuff that I post on the, on the reg is pearl onion That was deep, important facts. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of round five, Andy, 120. Kells, 130. Devo, 155. Comeback trail. Cinderella story. Hmm. Our final category is comic strips. Strips? Oh, really? Why do you have to do strips? Oh, okay. Comic oh, strips. Oh, Devo, Devo got so excited for about a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, oh, hell. In those newspapers. These are from the funny papers in your local newspaper. <sighs> All right. Although possibly not recently. Oh boy. yeah! So I want you to name the character that said <laughs> this. <sighs> Colossal dick move right there. <laughs> <laughs> he heard comic and was happy. He heard strips and was immediately sad. We had sports, movies. We had history. Where's my stuff? Comic oh. strips. 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 No. Strips. <laughs> uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> so unperturbed. I love it. I like this category. Question one. We have met the enemy and he is us. Oh, uh, locked in. Uh, I don't think this is it, but I'm locked in. I haven't read a comic strip in so long. Hey, Bo, I'll give you a hint. It's not Mary Worth, I don't think. <laughs> it's not Cassie. <laughs> it's not Cassie. <laughs> Be real Garfield right out. <laughs> I'm locked in. Okay. Let's start with Devo. Sergeant Rock. Kels. <laughs> I said Beetle Bailey. Andy. Pogo. It was for Earth Day. Correct answer is Pogo. What the hell? What are you even talking about? <laughs> Pogo, Pogo and his buddy are um, out in the woods or something, and there's just there's trash everywhere. Mm. And I think it was a cartoon strip that ran like on the first Earth Day. If I, remember. I use it in class. Um, and Pogo saying, "We have met the enemy, and he is us." He's looking out at all the I don't trash. Know who po- Wait a minute. Okay, uh, you I know have who no Pogo idea what is. About. It yeah. ran for about thirty years, but it ended in 1975. Did it come in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette? Because I don't remember saying Pogo. I, I, in there. I'm not sure your mother was born when this one stopped. Wow. Oh, wow. That's, wow. Thanks. Because yeah. <laughs> Andy used to read it as a teen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It ended before I was reading comic strips. Yeah, it, it, it ended very, in 1975. This is a, a very historically famous comic strip. Okay. All right. Let's see if you guys can get this one. Question two, I hate Mondays. Locked in. Uh, that is, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I had Locked several in. flood my mind. <laughs> they did. Uh, so the first person that came to mind, y'all both locked in, right? Yeah. Yeah. The first person to come to mind was Garfield. I was like, well, why would Garfield hate Mondays? Because he doesn't work. He doesn't do shit. He sleeps 20 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, and eats the rest. But everything else, I don't feel. There has to be a reason that came to my mind first. Might be Pogo. <laughs> Could be a Cats and Jammer kid. <laughs> cats and Jammers. I felt like you just made that up. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Made up the Cats and Jammer kids? 
I wish. Kels, you got to get out more. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of that. Cats and Jammer Kids? Yeah. yeah. Back in the olden days. It's from like the 20s. It's super old. All right. Well, Kels, what's your answer for this question? I went with Garfield. Andy? Garfield. Dave L. For me, it was between Kathy and Garfield, but I went with Garfield. I Garfield. thought about Kathy. Yeah. She crossed my mind. It is Garfield. Question three. Snap out of it. Five cents, please. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Andy? Lucy. Devo? Lucy. And Kells? Lucy Van Pelt. I was going to say Van Pelt, but then I was like, no, that's the sportscaster or the baseball player. So I'm I'm not going to do it. Scott Van Pelt. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Finally, we have this quote. Everybody seeks happiness. Not me, though. That's the difference between me and the rest of the world. Happiness isn't good enough for me. I demand euphoria. Locked in. I am locked in. (laughs) (laughs) I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Devo. I said Calvin. Kels? I said Ziggy. And Andy? I was first leaning strongly towards Bloom County, but then I remembered it was Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. It is indeed Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Nice. Good for Calvin. I, I kind of caught myself. I had this, I had another quote that I was going to include, but then I realized that uh, there was no name for the character that said it, but I just wonder if you guys know the comic. Okay. Now this end is called the Thagomizer after the late Thag Simmons. That's, that's a, oh, it's far, a far side. side. Yeah. Gary Larson's far side. That's one of my favorite comics. Yeah. Because um, mm-hmm. it's, because it's an actual term now. Yeah. That's what they use the term. They didn't have a term for it before that comic. For this, for the spikes on a Stegosaurus's tail. Yeah. What do they call? Thagomizers. Because <laughs> they didn't have a term for it before that that comic strip came out, and they loved it so much. They said, "Yeah, these are Thagomizers." Sure. Ah, uh, nice science. All right. At the end of our regular questions, Kels has 150, Andy 160. And Devo has 185. Mm. So I said we were going to do something a little bit different for our final question. Okay. Um, You you guys have heard me complain sometimes that one of the hardest parts of doing a a quiz is coming up with like a top 10 list. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Honestly, you complain a lot. I just usually just kind of. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's fine. But this particular time, uh, Devo heard me and he suggested doing a, a series of short questions that are sudden death. Oh, so hey, thanks, Davo. I love the fact you gave him an idea that included the word death. That's going to be great. It's going to be sudden. So this, you don't have to worry this, about it. This is going to be fine. You won't even hear the shot, Andy. <laughs> Never hear the bullet that's meant for you. And I, I actually have two versions of this 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 uh, final question. So I decided before the show that I was going to let whoever was in last place decide if we were going to go with what I think would be the harder version or the easier version. So Kels is in last place right now. So I'm going to tell you what the question is going to be, uh, Kels, and you can tell me which one you want to go with. So these are Shakespearean quotes. Oh, so each one of these is a quote from a Shakespeare play. Okay. So what I think is probably the harder one, it would be each quote is from a different play. Right. So you would kind of have the advantage of knowing that once I've used one, it's not going to be the answer for another one. Right. The what I think might be the easier version is I've got 10 quotes from four different plays and you have to tell me which play, which of those four the quote came from. Hmm. So whichever one of those you want to use. So awful. Well, see, the thing is, Neil, I would try to play this to my advantage. I know. Because I know my cohorts don't know much about Shakespeare. As far as quotes go, the thing we're is, not much on book learning. Like, <laughs> thing is, neither do I. So, um, <laughs> I, I hear was... Davo is a real Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, let's go with the we'll go with the easier the four the four um four plays. 
And so the way this is going to work, I'm going to give you a quote. It's either going to be from, you might want to write these down. It's either going to be from Julius Caesar. Fart. Or <sighs> Hamlet. Ooh. Hams. Or Macbeth. Ooh. Or Richard III. Oh, fart. Oh, the one I know nothing about. I was going to say, right. I know two of these. Okay. Um, three. Two and a half-ish for me. I know Richard of the- all four of them, but I haven't. Yeah, I've only read three of them. You said Richard the Third, right? Yeah. Right. You have no shot with that one. Yeah. I, have, I got a little Richard the Third. Okay. <laughs> if it's Richard Pryor. No, the third, Ju- no I got <laughs> nothing on Julius Caesar. I'm President William Howard Taft, and as I extricate myself from this bathtub, we will listen to this short message. While we cobble together some semblance of an answer to this final question, after this show, head on over to the Misinformation Trivia Podcast. It is a trivia podcast for ladies and gents who love cool trivia and sticking it to annoying teams at pub quizzes. Are you that annoying team? Would you like to not be an annoying team? Listen to them. They're a good show. Goodness, I just realized I'm dead. Back to the show. Okay. So I'm gonna we're gonna go through these one at a time. If you okay. get it right, you get ten points. If you get it wrong, you are out, and that is your final score. Oh, oh. this is gonna it's be sudden fun. death. So if you get one wrong, you don't get to answer anymore. Okay. Oh, sudden okay. death. Okay. okay. All right. All right. We'll start with an easy one. Okay. To be or not to be, that is the question. Who's got, is it, does it go to all three of us? Or that one yeah, all three. Go, just oh, go I'm ahead and lock in. in like a regular question. Locked in. Okay. Kels? Hamlet. Deva? Hamlet. And Andy? Hamlet. It is Hamlet. So we each get 10 points for that. Right. <sighs> yeah. So you you keep track of how many you get right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it's pretty easy because we're done after we... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> first curveball, everybody's going to sit out. With. <laughs> We got 10. Question two. Is this a dagger I see before me, the handle towards my hand? Locked, locked in? I'm locked in. Okay. I, I've i got mine. I'm locked in. Okay. Devo? Macbeth. Andy? Caesar? Kells? Macbeth. It is Macbeth. Oh, I, 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 I... <laughs> I know what smarted you were thinking, myself. Andy. I was going with Macbeth, and I thought to myself, "This has come up recently with Caesar. I don't know why, and I'm out." I Damn. was seriously going to write Caesar until I thought the handle toward my hand. Toward my hand, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't so know Caesar's why. Stop. Yeah, JC was dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the lady death protests too much. Methinks I know, I know this one. In. I thought these were the easy ones. I'm locked in. Let's start with Kels. Hamlet. Deva. Hamlet. The correct answer is Hamlet. Oh, man. All right. Question four. Beware the Ides of March. Locked in. Man. Locked in. Deva. Julius Caesar. And Kels. It is Julius Caesar. It is Julius Caesar. Number five. Now is the winter of our discontent. Oh, I would be on such a streak right now. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm locked in. Oh, no. I'm yes. pretty sure this was uttered by Aaron Rodgers this season. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to lock in and I'm going to kick myself because I, I can't get. All right. I'm locked in. Okay. Deva. Hamlet. Kels. See, I know this quote, but I never read it. So I'll put all my chips into the Richard the Third basket. Correct answer is Richard the Third. I was writing that down and erased it. <sighs> okay, so we're down to Kells. Oh. Um, Kells, what play was Get Thee to a Nunnery in? Get Thee to a Nunnery. Uh, well, uh, can I just say? Yeah. Hamlet. It was Hamlet. God bless it. I knew that one. It's <laughs> not all of these. <laughs> I wrote down the wrong... Question seven. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Mother. Oh. <laughs> I am trying not to think about this anymore. Ah, uh, cry havoc. Let, 
That's Mark Antony said that, I think. Julius Caesar. It was Julius Caesar. Come on, dude. I thought it was ACDC. Question eight. <laughs> Question eight. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Mm, I feel like this is either Hamlet or Richard the Third. I, I don't remember it in Hamlet, but it could very well be in Hamlet. But um, Or Tech Nine. I'm going to go with Richard the Third. That was from Macbeth. Macbeth. Oh, God. That was Lady Macbeth. Oh, yes. So just for fun, the last two were going to be a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Richard the Third. That was. I only know that from Monty Python. <laughs> and the last one was, but for my own part, it was Greek to me. Julius Caesar. It was. Julius Caesar. All right. So by my calculations, Kells was in last place. He got seven right, added to his 150, brings him to 220 points. Andy had 160, got one correct, and was yep. ended up with 170 points. And Davo started with 185, got four correct, which brings him to 225, and the win. <laughs> A five-point win. Wow. Well played, sir. Thank you, sir. That was a very, very good game meal. That was fun. Did you like the sudden death thing? I really yes. do. The sudden yes. death is wonderful. It's yeah, I really like it. Squid game feel to it that I didn't appreciate yeah. at first. I felt like there was a little bit more tension than there usually is, which is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> so from all of us here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, this is your MC Davo with Kells. Unjustifiably in the position that I'd rather not be in, but the cream will rise to the top. Oh, yeah. That's my quote. <laughs> Andy. So long, little brainers. That's that's my quote. I use it every week. <laughs> and Neil. Because the boys in the hood are always hard. You come talking that trash. We'll pull your card. No nothing in life, but to be legit. Don't quote me, boy, because I ain't said shit. Mm, a little easy mm, E for mm, you. Mm, 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 I'm too legit mm, to quit. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> Fighting off. Uh, I was just taking a drink and then that started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little brainers. I am so pleased to be talking to you here on the wireless, and I thank you for letting me into your rather common home. If you want to learn more about us, you can be checking us out on the tweeter at Little Brain. I'm not sure what the tweeter means, but I understand it's really important Andy, technology Andy, that we Andy, defeated I got the Nazis with. Okay. I got this. All right. That was... Check out our Facebook page, Brain Label Productions. Go there now. Do it. Do it now. Davo, Andy, what are you two doing? Promo. That's that's not how we agreed to do this. Well, well, you do it then. Okay. Well, uh, if some more quizzing is what you've been missing, you can check us out at uh, brainlabel.com. You can get your fix in the mix. Mr. President, please, I, I just, we need to get to the end of the show. Just check us out on Patreon for more exclusive content. And at the $10 level, you get an invite onto the show. <laughs> <laughs> did you say my name? I'm so sorry. I did say Dave. <laughs> oh, I was, <laughs> I was just Tycho Brahe over here. <laughs> <laughs> you ever shot it by like yeah. 27? Yep. Dave, well, that's too many. No, it's not. You said you said 27. Oh, uh, 17. Yeah. 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 I was about to say, man. I'm the funny thing is, is, I went down. I went down. I was it's, I, in my head. I was like, "That's got to be 37. It's like, "Nah, twenty sevens, right?" <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to carry the one <laughs> twice. <laughs> Never. Don't. <laughs> what I, was to, I was trying to cue up a sound clip that wasn't going to work. I'm just going over the pages that I used to. <laughs> oh, I 
I see Beetle Bailey, Garfield, Ziggy, Kathy was in there, Wizard of Id, uh, is it Haggard or Horrible? <laughs> All classics. Marmaduke. Uh, <laughs> Marmaduke. I remember Family Circus. Family yeah, Circus. It's Family Circus, and you can see the dotted line of where yeah. he was running when he was saying that. Uh, Blondie. Um, Sally Forth. That, that Blondie was a hussy. Was it Sally Forth? Mm-hmm. That was Sally Worth for some reason. That's Sally Worth. Sally it's Forth a, is something you do in, in like jousting. It's the name <laughs> of the comic strip. You Sally Forth unto a new. Come on. Am I wrong? There is a Sally Forth comic. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, good. The preceding podcast was presented by Brain Ladle Productions. All rights reserved.